Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Simmons and I'm going to be doing part one of the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem states that in any right triangle the sum of the square of the length of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, well these terminology, these uh, three words here, let's discuss what they mean. So a right triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle. This little square or this little box right here shows you that it's a 90 degree angle which that makes a right triangle. The legs actually make that 90 degree angle. They make the L here sides A and B. These are the legs and the hypotenuse is the longest side which is across from the 90. So sitting right across from this 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse side C. Well, what does this all mean? The Pythagorean theorem says that if I square this side A, so I'm going to square this side A, and then I square this side B, so I square this side B, and I add those two values together, that it's going to equal this long side C being squared. So here's an example of how that actually works. In my example, my triangle looks a little bit different, but as we stated before, the 90 degree angle here, it makes the legs. So these must be sides A and B, and across from the 90 is side C. So I'm gonna label this one side C, the longest side C, and I'm gonna label these others, it doesn't really matter, A or B, but I'm gonna put A for this one, and B for this one. So now I'm going to substitute in A equals four, so I'm gonna have four squared plus B, which is three being squared. It's gonna equal side C, which in this case is going to be X. And it is also squared. So four squared, I'm gonna solve now, four squared makes 16. Three squared, makes 9. And x squared just stays x squared because we don't know how much it is. We're actually going to find out. So now 16 plus 9, that equals 25, which is equal to x squared. And now in order to find out how much x squared or x is, I have to take the positive square root of both sides. This undoes the squaring of x. So in order to unsquare x squared, I have to take the square root. So the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of x squared is, of course, x. It undoes it. And so I find out that x is actually worth 5 feet. So my missing side c, or x in this case, is equal to 5 feet. Let me show you a different example. Okay, in this example, I'm still going to look and straight across from that 90 is side C. So I label side C first. This time I'm going to label this one B because the legs that make this 90 are A and B. So I'm going to label this one A. And I'm going to plug in these values. Let's substitute them in. So A equals 8 inches. So I'm going to put 8 here. That gets squared. B is 15. So 15 gets squared, and this once again equals x, and that will also be squared. 8 squared is 64. 15 squared is 225, and this equals x squared. 64 plus 225 is 289 and this is equal to x squared. Now, once again, I take the positive square root of both sides, so I'm gonna take the square root of 289, and I'm going to take the square root of x squared. The square root of 289 is 17, and of course, this makes x. So with that said, I know that this long side length, the hypotenuse, is 17 inches and I box in my answer. Now to reiterate this 
let me go over the steps. The first thing I always do is identify sides A, B, and C. Knowing that side C is the hypotenuse, then I write out my Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I substitute in the given values, and then I simplify or solve. Now, one thing that I do want to show you is that it doesn't matter which way this triangle is turned, I can always identify sides A, B, and C because the only one that really matters as I spin it around is going to be side C. It's always over here. Side A and B don't really matter. They're the legs of the triangle as always. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you with finding the missing legs or the missing hypotenuse to a right triangle.